Hello everybody, myself Sumit Lora and once again I welcome all of you on behalf of my channel Learn with Lora's. In this tutorial, I will show you how to prepare and file ETDS return online. Earlier I had a video on this topic which covers step 1, 2 and step 1 and 2. All in all, there are three steps involved while preparing and filing ETDS return online. In earlier video, I have already discussed about how to download the DDS preparation utility that is RPU from NSDL website. And in another video, I have discussed how to prepare uh, TDS return and how to validate it by using that particular RPU. If you have missed out those tutorials, then don't worry, you can see those, those links are coming in this tutorial. So, you can just click on those links and go to those tutorials. First step 1, step 2. In this tutorial, I will take you to the step 3 involved by filing in TDS return. Once we have prepared TDS return and validated it, if I go to what we have done, we have prepared our return in this uh, utility. After that, we have created a file by clicking on this tab create file. And once we have created that file, one FVU file that uh, with the extension dot FVU is generated, and there was no error. So once you have done with that, you have the file called .fu file which needs which you need to be uploaded. So how to upload? Basically there are two ways to do this TDS return filing. First you can upload either on NSDL website or what you can do is you can go to your nearest NSDL franchising. In this tutorial I will show you how you can do this. By both the ways. First of all, I will take you to the first step, uh, first way, the how to upload using NSDL website. So here comes our tin-nsdl.com website. This website you go to the services tab. After that, online upload and go to the registration. And first of all, you go to the procedure. You don't know anything. First, you need to register uh, on this website. After that, you can uh, upload. Okay, online upload the electronic statement dot that dot fu file generated. Okay. So first, you need to register. Uh, there are certain columns like organization details, payment details, and DSC details. The most important thing in this step is uh, your organization should have a DSC. This DSC means uh, digital signature certificate. Otherwise, you can't do this type of uh, filing. Okay. If you have the digital signature certificate, then what you can do is uh, you can register your company over on NSG website. How to upload? You just click on this tab register button. You will see over here. Um, this is registration for direct up upload of returns. Uh, in this case, uh, you can sitting in your office, you can just upload that .fu file on the, on the NSDL website. But before that, you have to register for this direct uploading facility. You have to put your organization name like if I say uh, learn with Lodhas Limited, this is my organization name. After that, my TAN number, category of organization, like company, name of authorized person, like me, and all details, like what we have filled in this, this tab, form, form part we have filled, name of the company, name of the responsible person, and all. This all we need to fill it here, over here. Once we have done with that, you have to fill digital signature certificate details, serial, order, serial number of that, who is the issuing authority. Class of DSC is uh, class 2, class 3, and name of the signature certificate holder. Okay, once you have done with that, you need to go for payment details. What they are writing over here, you can make advance payment at the time of registration through check or DD. The advance amount will be credited to your 
account at the time of activation. This amount can be utilized subsequently at the time of upload of return. You can make the advance payment, okay, either through check or DD. Once uh, you have made this, you can utilize this amount for against the fees which you need to be paid, which you need to be paid at the time of uploading of returns. Alternatively, what you can do is you can avail online option of credit card, debit card, net banking to make advance payment or upload returns. The online payment option is available after registration and attracts additional service charges. So if you are giving check and daily, there is no service charges additional, but if you are doing this through online, uh, additional service charges, what would you like to do? Make uh, advance payment now, yes or no, and you can submit on this. Okay. So I think this is clear for everybody. Uh, so you can just complete this procedure and after that you can upload your return but since uh, this type of uh, this uh, particular way is having its own limitation because everybody can not have their digital signature certificate so the one of the easiest way is the second way of uploading of return once you have this file dot fu file what uh, what you can do is you have to make a form 27a what is form 27a it is form for furnishing information with the statement of reduction of the collection of tds filed on computer media for a period okay whatever you are filing is a statement of tax deduction for a particular period okay we have filed, uh, filled our return for for Q1 1340. Okay, Q1 and 24Q that is for salary deductions. So this is basically a statement uh, which you need to be filed along with that FU file to NSDL, your nearest NSDL franchisee. So let's learn how to fill this form. This is uh, I have downloaded uh, from Google in Excel format. If you uh, wish to download it, you can just go to Google and type uh, Form 27A in Excel. So you will find any link you can download from there also. And if you need this uh, in PDF and all, you can just go to NSDL website. And once you will go there, you will find left hand side in download column and you can click on Form 27A. Form 27A will appear and you can just download that. Okay. So this way uh, this form 27A will be in your computer. This form is nothing great. Whatever you have filed in this first tab by filing your TDS return in the form tab, all the columns are exactly the same. All the columns. Tax deduction account number. This is my tax deduction account number. Uh, one second, oops. Yeah. This is my tax deduction account number. This is my permanent account number, financial year, okay, assessment year, my type of deductor. All the columns are same. Tax deduction number, financial. So you just copy and paste all the columns up till now. Here is the deductor details that is also common, and here is the person responsible deduction details. Uh, what we have written here this is the person who is going to sign on behalf of that particular company is a person responsible for the action of PDS. Okay, so same details you need to fill in these two columns. Once you have done with that, this is the more, most important point: control totals. Now here we have seen once you have up, uh, validated your TDS return, you will find an, another report which is called a statistics report. You will find this is basically a snapshot of not exactly the statics, uh, statistics report generated after uh, uh, my validation, but it is just a format. So I'm showing you this kind of statistic report you will be generated once you will validate your return, and you will find these two columns there: number of deductives. In my case, only one deductive was there, so I have typed one. An amount paid was you can see over here in third tab. I have only one deductive, okay. One deductive 
on which I have paid thousand rupees and one zero three I have deducted one zero three I have deposited through challenge. So I have put all these three things from there. You can alternatively what you can do you uh, you have these all control totals in your statistics report. You can just take it from there and just copy and paste here. Okay. Once you have done with that, uh, this is verification part. Person who is responsible for signing this or uh, deducting TDS, his name should come here. I, this is Sumit Lehuda. He was certified all the particular the funniest above are correct and complete. The, uh, basically, your verification part. And here I have to uh, write, type his name and designation. And here he will sign and place and date. Okay. Once you have done with that, you take the printout of uh, this. Form 27A and you will sign here and take this .fu file to any uh, computer media uh, you can copy it on either on CD or you can take it on a uh, pen drive and go to uh, your NSDL nearest NSDL franchise so once again you will say how will I know which is the nearest NSDL franchise from my location so don't worry tin nsdl is once again with you once you go to the tin nsdl.com on home page itself you will find a search option tin facilitation centers companion center click on that here it is search for tin facilitation centers companion center near your location just go to your location state my state is maharashtra so i'm typing maharashtra after that, choose location. How exactly I am deciding is Mumbai. If I type Mumbai or it's Mumbai, Andheri, I think Andheri won't be there. Yeah, Andheri is not here, so I am typing Mumbai. In Mumbai, once I submit, NSDM will provide the location, different franchise addresses where I can go and Submit my ETDS return. I have that file on my pen drive. Along with that, I have 27 in my hand. 27A along with the fees applicable, I will submit it to the TIN and TIN facilitation centers. So, here are the address so contact person, facilitator name, LNK assignment limited, and all contact addresses. Uh, it's Andheri East, so I think it would be nearest to me because my address was Andheri. So, I will go there and just submit. Okay, and after that, I have oh, that file with me and 27A with me. Now, let's see how much I have to pay for this filing of ETDS data. Up to 100 deductive costs, up to 100 deductive costs means your initial A is having number of records up to 100. In my case, it is only one. So, what I need to pay 31.15 as uploading fees, uploading charges to NSDL franchise without service tax and including services, I will have to pay rupees 35. If my directed costs are more than 101 but less than 1000, then I have to pay 178 rupees as upload charges uh, without service tax and including services 200 rupees. And if my deductive costs are more than 1001, I have to pay total Rs. 650 including service tax. So I hope uh, this makes sense. We have done with, finally we have done this with uh, from scratch, from downloading RPU to the filing of ETDS return up to the NSDL franchise. So I hope this makes sense and uh, I could do for all of you for some thing what uh, what you never know or what you wanted to know so thank you very much for your patience listening so, if you like this tutorial please like us on facebook that is facebook.com slash learn with loadhards or you can come to our youtube channel and put comment on this comment section below if you have any queries, write in the comment section. Uh, I will try to reply as soon as possible. So, thank you very much.